Hey folks, this is IOE so remember back with some more World of Tanks and before you go anywhere I just need to say don't run. This is supposed to be an epic game. And so yes, it's artillery. He's got one star, it's on Kampanov I mean Malinovka. Or, yeah, Malinovka. Kampanovka. Yep. That's the right one. Um and um I think you're looking at the stars of the show right now. It's, it's going to be a weird one. It's it's a Tuesday, so it I kind of use them as my uh, experimental slash throw off days slash whatever. It's a Tuesday. Tuesdays are always fun days for me, uh, so I'm, I kind of try and make them fun days for everybody else too. It it may not go that way. We'll have to see. But um, in the meantime, uh, this is a tier eight game on Malinovka, and uh, we are in the M40 M43. Uh, this is the tier eight American. Um, artillery piece while he's setting up and waiting for the teams to get into place and all that stuff. I do want to talk about the Teespring campaign, which should be right about there, right about now. And um, that is, we are um, selling t shirts. Wait, what? Am I not in fixed camera? Is that what's going on? Oops. My bad. Um, well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't. Um, so, uh, we're, we're selling t-shirts, uh, merchandise for the channel, as well as uh, the 50% of the profits go to the Canadian Heroes Foundation, and that's a charity that uh, is kind of close to my heart, and they support veterans, past, present, and future in Canada, as well as, you know, police, EMS, firefighters, that sort of thing. And so, since my grandfather was in World War II, uh, he actually drove a Firefly, by the way, which is something I found out recently. Um, these, this, this charity, it just goes to my heart. And so, yeah. Um, so the, the goal is to sell 10 t-shirts, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's more than, you know, than, than I usually sell in this sort of thing. So that's, that's my goal. Um, so far we got two, so I'm excited. Um, and so we're, you know, there's only eight more t-shirts, t-shirts. Uh, you can also buy a hoodie or women's wear. There's, there's women's t-shirts as well if you want those. Um, colors, great selection of colors. And just pick one you like. And don't forget, I mean, they're great t-shirts. Um, it's worth buying just just to have a t-shirt if you want to wear around, one around the house. If you don't want to go out in public and, and spread my, my image everywhere. If you don't want to, it's fine by me. Um, but, you know, do for charity, right? And, um, yeah. So 50% of the profits go to charity and the rest goes into the channel to making the channel better. So, I mean, at, as far as I'm concerned, it's a win, 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 but it's all up to you. And again, just eight more, eight more and we hit my goal. So that's enough of that. Uh, again, I'm going to have to apologize for any jump cuts that need to happen, uh, because I am still sick and I'm still trying not to die. Uh, looks like we're going to miss that shot on the T-29 as he moves away. After we fired. Do we not have any sound? No, we have sound. It's just the big boom of artillery fire. Does that not happen anymore? Is this a male going to sit here and let us hit him inside? The answer is yes. Yes, he is. That was a nice shot. I liked that shot, right? Didn't you? Um, wow. The fact that poor guy turned... Sorry, guys. Uh, now my head hurts and I can't remember what we were talking about. Right. The, uh, the Saint Emile dying. And for some reason there's no artillery gun sounds. I don't know if that's a replay glitch. Oh, come on. Hit this guy. How awesome would this shot be if it connects? Oh, sad face. We're going to have look, look later on and see if that actually connects or not. I was hoping for another 800 damage connection, all right? Weren't you? Uh, Panther M10 up on the hill. Um, So right now, because of the fact that his team isn't really engaging anybody, he's just picking and choosing his targets based off of uh, the, the targets he can actually hit and, uh, and or see. Panther M10 is actually getting aggressive. Certainly, this is the fact. This is most of our team that he's charging right now. 
Uh, he's either got a ton of support behind him or he can't see what he's charging. Uh, I'm going to go with it's probably the second one. Ooh, unfortunately missing. And thankfully missing our low. Uh, the low follows the panther down the hill. Okay, so the low is dead. He's getting hit by the entire enemy team right now. Or most of them. Um, is he actually going to kill the panther? My, my guess is no. No, he's not. He fired HE. Somebody else kills the panther. And is the low going to survive? maybe so far he's still alive somehow I figured he'd be dead after that no apparently he's is in fact going to get away that was a nice shot on the low accident around the the only accidental I'll grant you but nice job so because of the fact that he landed that shell next to the Oni and didn't hit it in the face uh, it actually did more damage than if he'd hit it in the face because if he hit in the face, of course, all, most of its armor would have absorbed most of the HE. Uh, whereas because he missed and the splash hit it in the, the armor on the side, it went through uh, and did a ton of damage. Uh, so, of course, because the side armor of the no Oni is more or less paper. And the front armor is actually some nice big steel plates. And so because he missed, he actually did a ton more damage. That's, uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, looking for the T-29 shot right now. Um, T29 doesn't quite pull into that the way he would have liked, um, but that's okay. Oni is now going to push forward. And this I6 is really the threat of a uh, friendly team right now. They're, it's the one that, that is really holding off the push. Though, I don't I don't understand why we lost this hill. This is where our team committed to, and apparently this is what we lost to. So I'm going to assume it's because they didn't commit all the way up the hill. And we're actually getting hit by these two that entire time. Oni slipping over the side. And looking to uh, to start getting co in close where he can do some more damage. Unfortunately for him, he gets hit by the Amex 13 F3. And that's the end of his game. IS-6, though. IS-6 looks like it's rocking back and forth. And if it's just going to stay there more or less, then... Unfortunately, I would have been a time maybe shoot a little bit behind it, but... You can't always predict where the enemy tanks are going to go. Hopefully we blew his tracks off. As our low just suicides into the enemy team, do, not really doing anything, but still resulting in uh, hopefully some spine damage or something. Um, E2 <laughs> and a 45 TP going at over here. AMX is already in, in the helping mood. And the TP is going to win this. Good. Switching targets over to the Brigetto, I assume. Or is he going to... Where are we going by up? Did I not introduce the player? I feel like I may not have... I may have forgotten to introduce by up. Uh, in which case, oops. My bad, I'm sorry. I got hung up on the fact that this was a Tuesday game, didn't I? My bad. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, buy up. Um, so with the IS six and the Fajero being the only two really big targets left, he's just got to wait for somebody to spot this thing so that he can end it. Um, and so I'm going to fast forward this a little bit uh, because until somebody actually goes forward and spots this thing, he can't do anything anyway. Uh, and so nobody wants to sit here while our T Type fifty nine gets some courage and proceeds forward. Looks like our KB-85 is going to do a ring around the Rosie and go all the way around the map. Uh, of course. Of course, our Type 59 player also decides he wants to go all the way around the map. And so we're going to speed this up again because, good lord, we could be sitting here forever at this base. And I don't want to sit here forever. There he is. Nice shot after all that aiming. Tracks the ice. 6B. And then starts to almost drown himself. Figures out, oop, let's not do that. And, uh, and gets back out of the water. Uh, looks like the Cheeto is spotting the IS. Hopefully the Cheeto knows enough not to bother shooting. And just lets his artillery do the work. Yep, artillery is doing the work. And it looks like 
The Type 59 and the KB85 are flexing back this way. Um, and I hope to get some damage in on the otherwise, well, just uh, stationary IS-6. IS-6 is pushing forward now. He's going to push forward in a cannon shell. Nice job. Unfortunately, no tracking damage, though. And without tracking him, that means he's going to be able to continue forward. The Cheeto is now shooting at him, which is kind of a mistake, but I don't think it's going to kill the Cheeto, so... This is the weird of you to be to be a, a first person in, or a third you know, free camming around in. Oh well. Um So now only two shells left. Wait, are these the gold shells? I can't tell. Is there a difference? If there's a difference I can't see what that difference is. I assume the difference is splash damage? The range of splash damage? But, uh, I can't see what that is. It definitely doesn't pen anymore, so... Ooh! I don't think we connected, but hopefully we stunned him. And so we got a bunch of stunning damage right there, with luck. Um... I'm gonna speed this up again, because... We're just waiting for the yeah, friendlies to get into range or something. Or for us to reload. 17 seconds left on the reload. Progetto looks like he wants to go in on our TP, but he's not. Well, actually, now he is. TP is running away. And he's not going to quite make it out of range. But, oh, yeah. That's good shell. Nice job. Oh, that's the g end of game, so thank you very much. Um, I don't know if that was as entertaining as I thought it was going to be, but it was still a decent game. Um, that shell on the mill, by far the best shell. <laughs> that was awesome. So we're just going to jump over and see why I thought this was such a good game. So, first class master badge, not bad. Bruiser, a Gore's medal. So you have to do more than 10 times your health and damage. Which is a lot in this tank, by the way. Um, 450 health, right? Which means he did over 4,500 damage, right? High caliber. Um, so we did connect 325. Wait, when did we shoot the SU-100? I don't ever remember aiming at the SU-100. Um, no, eight, 800, so we did 300 to him when we weren't uh, so with that uh, the blind shot on him. Who else did we hit blind? I don't think we hit anyone else blind. I think those were other, like, this is a surprise to me. I don't I don't know when we shot the SU-100. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember that show. Um, so not, not four and a half thousand. So only thirty-eight hundred, which means that I don't. I guess this thing only has three hundred fifty health. My bad. But still, um, that's a ton more damage. As as, <sighs> good lord. The next not artillery player on the team did two thousand. Which means we're like 1800, 1900 damage over top of him. That's truly impressive. A third of our team did nothing. Which is sad. Wow. And he got a little bit of stunning damage, but, you know, or stunning damage, but mostly this was just a hard carry. And uh, this is why I thought this game deserved to be. This is here. He did spend a ton of credits. Would have made some if you've been running premium, but either way, oh well. This was still worth it. Thank you so much, Bio, for saying this in. This was actually really fun to watch. Um, I hope everybody out there enjoyed it too. Um, if anybody can tell me when we hit the SU-100, I'll, uh, I'll thank you, because I'm still trying to figure that out myself. And um, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to Grab a t-shirt if you want to support me, veterans, 
and uh, get a gray shirt. That's the best way to do it, and I'll see you all later. This IOE throughout. <laughs>